So it's currently just hit 2.30 in the afternoon and I've just decided that I'm gonna go on a spontaneous little camping trip. Cars packed, fridge is on, loaded. All I gotta do now is quickly stop at the shops, grab some very important ingredients such as frothies, uh, pick up some firewood, fill the car up with fuel, and then we're good to go. So let's hit the road. Just finished up at Bunnings, got some firewood and a few other little bits of pieces. Stopped at the bottle shop, grabbed some beers. So now I'm gonna hit the road. I think I'm about an hour and a half or so uh, from the, the park itself. So should be there just in time to get a fire going before the sun goes down and get some dinner going. So let's hit the road. Just coming up to one of my favorite stretches of road in South Australia. You might have seen it before, but um, yeah. So I've finally arrived at Deep Creek Conservation Park. I've just pulled in off of the main road and now I'm about to hit this little dirt track. I think it's maybe five or 10 Ks max. Um, and then go find a campsite. There's I think four or five, maybe six different camp sites within the national park. Um, sorry, I'm puffing because I just sprinted back to get the tripod. <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't know exactly which one I'm gonna stay at yet. Um, and you do have to book online, but I like to go in and check it out and suss out which site I actually want to stay at before I commit to it online. So I'll go in, have a squeeze, book a site, get set up, swap the hat for a beanie, put a jumper on because it's getting bloody cold and uh, get going. Phew. and kangaroos all right so I've just found the campsite I was looking for this one's called Cobbler Hill um, I'm just gonna do a little loop and see if there's a site that suits me but by the looks of it there's absolutely no one at this campground which is a big win for me so I reckon this guy here is my site and I've done a loop and there is literally not one other person camping here which is cool, maybe because it's Thursday. We'll see if it gets busy tomorrow, but loving that. Um, and also the site that I've picked, just by chance, is number four. And some of you might know that four is my lucky number or favorite number. Look at this, perfect little site, nice and flat. I'm an absolute perfectionist when it comes to picking a camp spot. It does my own head in sometimes, but it, it's all worth it in the end. When I'm setting up um, at a campsite, like I'm trying to get the angles right for A, videos, and B, for photos. So I'm trying to line the fire up with the car and the sky and everything else around it um, so I can get a nice photo. Yeah, for now. Let's get set up, put some warm clothes on, get the fire going, get some dinner going, and of course, grab a beer. All right, beanie is on, jumper is on. I think I'm gonna get the fire going just down here before I pop the tent.
All right, it is now seven o'clock. I'm all ready to go. Fire's cranking, tent set up, feeling good. Um, I think it's dinner time. So tonight I'm just gonna make a burger uh, using a Beyond Beef patty. Whoa, there's a kangaroo right there. That scared the shit out of me. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna whip that up and uh, yeah, probably just sit by the fire and chill out. So I've got everything out that I need. Before I start prepping, I think it's time to grab a beer. So let's do that first. Oh. Yep. Cheers guys. Oh. Too good. Smells delicious. Mayo. Vegan mayo, of course. Oh my god, it's a full moon and it's just peeking behind the cloud over there. Anyway, mayo. Tomato sauce. Whoa, made a mess of that. I'm just going to do it simple with cucumber, tomato, spinach, and a slice of vegan cheese. There we go, burger made, beer in hand. Fire's cranking behind me, I'm gonna sit right there and enjoy this. really good burger FYI well that burger was absolutely delicious it's about 8 30 now I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy the fire for the rest of the night <laughs> time and definitely coffee time. Coffee is ready. Oh, bloody love this. <clears throat> Waking up in the bush, there's still not one person in sight. The sun's coming out, it is beautiful. Love it. Hope you guys are enjoying it too. Let's see how this toast's going. Oh yeah. I reckon we are good to go. There you have it guys, Dan's classic Avo Smash Camping Edition.
the ranger just came around just as I was finishing brekkie. Lucky I booked my site. Um, also, I just looked over to my right and spotted these little guys. One, two, three, maybe there's another one around the corner. There's three kangaroos just chilling there in the sun. All right, so I've just done a quick little clean up, tidy up, did the dishes and all that fun stuff. Um, and now I'm just gonna quickly pack the tent down um, and then hit the road and just go for a little explore within the national park and see what we can find. And then make a decision as to whether I'm gonna stay for another night or not. At this stage, I think I will, cause why not? Righto, so it's about 11.30 now. Tent's packed up, everything's ready to go. So I think we're gonna hit the road now, go see what we can find, maybe get down to the beach, find a campsite for tonight, and uh, I'll take you along with me. I didn't realize I was so close to this beach um, from where I was camping. For those of you who don't know, Deep Creek Conservation Park is where I am, about 100 k's from Adelaide, just near Cape Jervis. And Cape Jervis is where you get on the ferry if you want to go over Kangaroo Island. And where I am right now, I'm about to go down this four-wheel drive only track, which takes you down to this awesome little secluded beach called Blowhole Beach. And from here, I can literally see Kangaroo Island, it's not that far. All right, so this is the road down to Blowhole Beach. You probably can't see it in the camera, but Kangaroo Island is just over there. It's a bit cloudy and overcast, so you can't really see it too well, but you'll see it when we get down at the beach. For now, let's head down this track. part of filming by yourself especially on a track like this where it's steep set the tripod up drive past park the car run back up Whew. all right well it's just decided to start pissing down with rain just as I got the drone up in the air what can you do so you're probably not going to see much because I'm not going to get out and film while it's pissing down with rain and also you can't really see too much because of the rain either but we'll head down there anyway and uh, check it out hopefully it clears up all right there you go we've made it down to Blowhole Beach pretty rocky bumpy ride down here but it's nothing serious a little bit steep in some parts and you need some clearance but other than that just take it easy and you'll be fine um, it's cleared up a little bit, it's still drizzling which is annoying but behind the car, I don't know if you can see in the distance over there, there's land, that is Kangaroo Island, so there you go. Different times of the day, actually I think I can see it right now peeking behind the headland over there, you can actually see the ferry going, going back and forth from Cape Jervis to the island. Um, yeah, I'm just going to walk down here and I'll show you Blowhole Beach. On a nice day, this is like my favorite, probably my favorite beach in the state to be honest. Like the water is crystal clear blue. It's an awesome spot for a little swim, walk around on the rocks. Um, 
But yeah, a little bit miserable today, but it's still nice. Check it out. Blowhole Beach. There's a ferry just over there somewhere. And that there is Kangaroo Island. There you go, Blowhole Beach. Definitely worth the trip down here. All right, well there's Blowhole Beach done. Now for the trek back up the hill. Alright, so I've just come for a little drive to this other campground called Trig. Um, gonna do a little loop and have a look at the sites and then have a look online at what, which ones are available. But I did have a look earlier this morning and there was um, a handful that were still free for tonight. I just wanna pick a nice flat secluded one um, for myself. So after a good like half an hour of toing and froing between this campground trying to pick a site, my indecisiveness has finally come to an end. And I've landed at this site here, which is number 23, um, at Trig Campground. The ground here is pretty sloped, so I've just leveled the car out by using some rocks. I've just shoved them under the front and rear um, tires on this side, which has leveled the car up perfectly. Uh, but yeah, now it's 2.30 and I haven't had lunch yet, so I'm absolutely starving. So I'm going to quickly pop the tent up and then whip some lunch up. Right, well that's the tent done. And it's just started drizzling again, so I'm going to quickly set the awning up before I start prepping any lunch, just so I've got some shelter in case it decides to come down even heavier. But there you go, just as expected. As I finish that up, it's starting to rain. Probably going to set up under here to do all the cooking and prep and everything. Um, just about to start getting lunch ready, and there's one, two, three, four kangaroos right here. Check this out. All right, well lunch is just about ready. Just having um, kind of like a curry. It's actually a soup, it's out of a packet. But I use it as a curry sauce. I've thrown some tofu in there and some rice. Nice, hearty, warm meal for a miserable day. Whew. Right, oh, so I'm feeling refreshed after some lunch. Um, still constant drizzle, which is not ideal, but Oh well, what can you do? Um, I think I'm gonna get the fire pit ready now, dig it out so I can get some dry soil, chop up some wood, probably light that pretty soon. Um, also, I have like basically no phone reception here and I've been trying to book this campsite and it's just not working. Like I'm pushing it and then it's, I don't know. I don't know if it's me or the website or a combination, but I'm trying to do the right thing. Let's just hope no one rocks up at this site or that'll be awkward and 
I'll probably have to pack up everything and move somewhere else, but fingers crossed. <laughs> It's time to get the fire going. Well, that fire's cranking. Goes to show, preparation is key. TP stack is my fave. Frothy time. Yep. Happy Friday, dudes. You. So for dinner tonight, I've got it real quick and easy, thanks to mum. So yesterday, mum made this spaghetti bolognese, vegan style. So instead of minced meat, it's tofu scrambled up. Anyway, most of you probably not into the vegan stuff, so I'll enjoy it myself. We're just like that, spaghetti bolognese. Cheers, mum. So good. All right, so I thought I'd give you guys a little update so since my last video, which was obviously my first video, shout out to all of you people who watched it and left me a nice comment. I really appreciate it. So since the last video, I ended up in Adelaide um, and I spent the best part of, oh, it's actually nearly been two months, maybe six weeks. I've been laying pretty low uh, and just sort of getting clear on where I want to go and what I want to do. And I'm super excited to share with you guys that I've finally decided on where I'm going and a time frame. So at the end of June, I'm hitting the road um, for, I don't know, two, three months, maybe, maybe more, maybe less, who knows. And I'm heading for the Northern Territory. So 23rd of June is my departure date. So first up, I'm gonna spend a few nights in the Flinders Ranges. Haven't been there for years. So I'm looking forward to that. And then from there, I'm gonna head straight for the Outback. So from the Flinders, I'm gonna be heading north and hitting the Udna data track um, for a couple hundred kilometers, passing through some iconic spots along the way and then making my way to Uluru, which I'm bloody super excited about. I've always wanted to get there and it's finally gonna happen. So yeah, Uluru, Alice Springs, all the way up to Darwin, explore everything up there, Kakadu National Park, which I'm super keen on, uh, and then more than likely head west into Western Australia exploring the Kimberley region into Broome and then we'll see what happens from there. I'm not really on a time frame, kind of just going with the flow. So may end up being a shorter trip, may end up being longer. We're just gonna see what happens. So yeah, I'm super keen for that. And the plan is to, to get creating more and being on the open road and seeing new places and exploring new things just is what gets me going and keeps me inspired to keep to keep shooting more um, and yeah I want to start making some more videos obviously the plan is to maybe make one a week or one a fortnight one a month whatever it is I'm not really being too strict on it I'm just gonna see what I feel like at the time but definitely a lot of content coming um, so yeah stay tuned and um, yeah I'm super keen to bring you along for the ride all right well I've just climbed up into the tent it's about 9:30. Um, I'm absolutely knackered today, just took it out of me for some reason, I don't know why. But that's it, I'm gonna have an early night and uh, I'll see you in the morning.
Good morning guys. It is about 8 a.m. Slept pretty good. It was bloody cold this morning. It still is. Um, it's real cold. Um, <laughs> anyway, I think I might try and get a fire going. I don't really have any wood, but I'll try and use what's here. See if we can warm up a little bit and then get a coffee going. Alright, managed to get a little fire going behind me. Not sure how long it'll last, but it's nice anyway. Uh, and now it's definitely time to make a hot coffee. Alright, it's always a nice way to start the morning. Campfire and a hot cup of coffee on a crisp morning. Can't beat it. Um, this morning I'm just going to go slow, make some brekkie soon, and then just slowly pack, pack the car down, probably just hit the road, head back home. I'm glad I came on this trip. It's been really nice and I feel like I'm back in the camping groove and I'm looking forward to hitting the road uh, next month. There's a few little bits and pieces that I do want to add to the car. There's a couple of things that I've already got planned in the coming weeks in preparation, um, which you'll see in the coming videos. Can't bloody wait. All right, it is brekkie time and this morning I'm going to make a vegan cheese and Vegemite sandwich. Toasted sandwich. Vegemite. Vegan cheese. Bread in the pan ready to be flipped. Well, it's time to start packing up. Um, I'm gonna start with just putting the table and the chairs and the cooker and stuff away. And just let the tent and the awning sit in the sun for a bit longer um, and let them dry out from all the rain last night. If you're in SA or even if you're not, take the opportunity and come down and check out Deep Creek, it's worth a trip. Yeah, and as I said, I'm hitting the road in about a month's time and heading for the Northern Territory. And I'm going to be making lots of videos and sharing lots of content with you guys, so get pumped for that because I certainly am. And if you've made it this far, thanks heaps for watching this one. Um, let me know what you think, leave me a nice comment down below, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I don't know, I'm new to this, so. Your support means a lot, but um, yeah, until the next adventure, cheers and get out there.